Hey there everyone, it's Ravindra Devrani back with another video and we are continuing the C-Sharp tutorial series. In previous videos, we have done multiple exercises related to the programming. Now we will move to the new concept which is called object oriented programming and we will learn what is classes, objects and namespaces and how to apply them in C-Sharp. If you find this video helpful, then please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed the channel, then hit that subscribe button also. So let's get started. So first of all, what is class? So class is a blueprint that has some certain attributes and features. So let's take an example. Suppose there is a car and it is a class. So we can take an example of car. Suppose car is a class. Now it will have several attributes like make, model, color, year and price and it will have some functionalities like it can start so it will have a start functionality, it can stop so it can also have a stop functionality, it can also run and move so these all are the functionalities of a class that is car here so I hope you get understand the concept of class and when we create the object of that class then it is called when we create an instance of that class then it is called an object so that's the general definition of object and we can also say that object is a real-time entity it is the general definition you will find everywhere in internet but we will talk in programmatically way so in the programming when we create an instance of the class then it will be called an object so let's move to the code editor and let's see let's create a class here actually we were using classes everywhere in our, all the programs but we haven't discussed about them yet but now we will deliberately create a class and let's create a class car that we were talking about so we will create a class so it will be like this public and we will talk about these access modifiers later part of this tutorial like what is public what is internal what is protected etc so do not worry about that just focus on the concept of class okay so public class car so now it is our class let's define its properties like int a string make okay public string make that's it public string model public string what should be next color public string color public int year public int and what should be next property price public int price so it is our class which is car here so it is our car class and it have these properties make model color year and price these all are the members of this class and they are the attribute of the class car now it can also have some functionalities that are called methods and these are called fields or data members now we will create some methods like we have talked in the example a car can start so it can have a start method so it is how we can define a function and a function if a function defined inside a class then it is called a method so it is how we define a method and it is a void type it means it is not going to return anything 
if you want to return an integer from it you can write integer here but right now we are going to use void only so it is just a start method which will say car is started okay it is simple now it will have a stop method and car is stopped it can also have this run method run and now it will say car is running so that's it we are only going to define three methods now we have created a class now it's time to create an object of it and we can create object inside this main method only for that we need a main method so it is giving me an auto suggestion that you are going to create an object of car so i have created an object of car which is a small car so here car is an object okay here we have created an object of this car class it is a car or you can write it like this also it is also fine where car both cases are fine okay now let's see how to use the method of properties and methods of the car so car dot model equals to xyz car dot make equals to make one one and these are just random values do not take it seriously then car dot year equals to 2020 2021 and car dot price equals to something like that and it's just a random value so now we have assigned the values to the op values to the member of the class so now we can use the methods and let's say car dot start okay and car dot run car dot stop now we can also print these values so console dot write line and we are going to write here model make year price that's it and we are going to write here bracket car dot model and here car dot make here car dot year and the last one is car dot price okay so let's run this program and let's see what we can see in the output window okay so here we have displayed this message model xyz make make double one year 2021 and price is this car is started car is running car is stopped so that is our class and object and we are going to talk about one more term here which is name space and here is a definition it is a scope that contains a related set of object so what does it means it means you can put your multiple multiple classes or any kind of interface or anything you can put them together inside a scope that scope is called a namespace and let's let's take an example we can create a namespace a school where we can define multiple classes like course student departments marks etc etc 
within a namespace you can contain the following types like class interface struct enum delegates and nested namespace also so these are not restricted to the class you can also define these things also like interface struct enum delegate and nested namespaces so we have some inbuilt namespaces which we are using till now so if you want to use any namespace let's see how we can use it first of all this console dot write line is defined inside a system namespace okay so it is like this system dot console dot write line but we have used here we have right here using system so we do not need to write it everywhere in our program so that's how that's why we write this line here using system it means we are using a namespace system so that we can use all the methods of that system namespace is here so system contains multiple methods like system it is a namespace and it contains these things it is the list of everything that is wrapped up inside this system namespace okay so you can check it by yourself okay so it is the inbuilt namespace and there are multiple namespaces defined by c sharp they are endless we are not going to talk about it so i am just giving you a general idea that what is namespace now here we have always defined this c sharp tutorial namespaces everywhere now what we are doing we are creating the classes and we are wrapping them inside this c sharp tutorial namespace so if you write here if you write here let me write here c sharp tutorial it is a namespace that we have created everywhere and if you write this then you can see the number of classes number of classes we have defined inside this namespace so we have defined all of these classes part time pipes part 7 part 5 switch part 5 part 4 part 3 part 12 part 11 and so on and this car class that we have created recently all of these are created and wrapped inside this this what is this c sharp tutorial namespace So let's create a namespace. Let's create a different namespace. Okay, and for that, let's create a new class here. Public class. And let's name it. is called data okay it is a file and it, it is going to contain many namespaces so right here what am i doing i am going to create a namespace and name it to school so it is a school namespace and it will create multiple classes so first of all it will create a class which will be called public class student and it will have let's define a method here so public void so console dot write line hey i am from a student class that's it and let's name it display okay so here we have created this student class let's create another class let's create it teacher and hey i am from the teacher class 
and here create another department hey i am from department class so now we have created a namespace that is a school and inside that namespace we have created multiple classes like students teacher and this last one department so let's use this namespace first of all for using any namespace you can use it like this okay i'm gonna tell you okay i'm gonna tell you something okay but before that we need okay we are commenting this code now look here how to use namespace first of all write the name of the namespace which was a school so it is saying a school is a namespace and it is the symbol of namespace these parentheses so a school and you can see it have three classes so we are going to create an object of a student a student is two equals to new school dot student it is the one way so if we create the other objects like dept department and teacher we have to do it like this teacher teacher and this it will be teacher it is the one way or you can remove this part fine remove this part also remove this part also and we are gonna remove it also and this also now it is not detecting anything because we have to use this namespace here so we have to write this using and a school so it is how we use namespaces in c sharp now everything gets resolved so let's write here is to dot display here dept dot display and teacher dot display okay let's run this program and let's see what we get in the output hey i am from student class i am from department class i am from teacher class so that was all about the classes namespace and objects i hope you understood all the terms so if you find this video helpful then please hit that like button and share it in your circle that helps me a lot that's it for now we will catch up later